Hey guys, welcome back to the Passive Money Plan. My name is Alex, that's Kirby. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button before we get into the video. But today's topic we got is lazy people are the best employees. <laughs> and I know that sounds counterintuitive to most people. Um, and this, this video is, I know it's going to be more of the working class people that watch this video. And they're going to say, what do you mean lazy people are the best employees? I'm a hard worker. Don't stop being you. I'm not. I'm not telling people don't stop. You know, become lazy. But what I what I'm saying, and this is more so you understand what the business world, the business community, and what you know, business owners and HR and things are looking for. So what I mean by being lazy, lazy people are the best employees. Think of it like this. Think of your kid. You know, kid that you have. He's super lazy. He or she. I just say he because I have a son, but uh, he or she is super lazy. So every task that you give them to do, they try to find a shortcut on doing it. Every task. So in the work world, in the work world, that's what lazy employees do. They find how to automate things. They try to find better processes and systems to use to streamline the work so they can do less work. And in the work environment, in the you know corporate world, that's what businesses are looking for, how to streamline, how to automate, how to innovate. And roughly, to tell you the truth, is how to eliminate the workforce and eliminate the cost. Um, I had this conversation with a good, a good friend of mine, um, and she is, when it comes to, you know, the Excel automation, uh, process she's a genius at it. and the crazy part she probably just you know reached her 30s she's a genius at it. and i remember one time we was doing a project uh and and she was doing the project and i wasn't on a team that was going doing the project but then she came and told me what the project was and then i just looked at her and i said you know you're about to get everybody fired right and then she looked at me crazy like huh and I was like, you're going to get everybody fired with this process that you came up with. And then lo and behold, fast forward, you know, nine to 12 months, everybody that did that task was fired because now the process that she helped create, it eliminated, it eliminated a whole section of the workforce. And I'm not talking one or two people. I mean, hundreds of people, because that's what companies are looking for. Companies are looking for innovation. Companies are looking for ways to automate and make stuff just run without the element of human touch have to touch it. So those, those, and you usually find it. And of course, I'm saying lazy because they have a mindset of how can I make this better for me so I can do less work. And those are the people that the corporate world is looking for. That's a good point. Because uh, you, you had come up with this topic and I uh, I wasn't sure what exactly you meant by it. My interpretation was uh, lazy people as far as they don't want to try and change anything outside their life or do anything extra outside of their workplace. They just want to go to work, do their job, go home and, you know, watch Netflix when, you know, drink a beer or whatever, like and, that's, that's probably what they well that's probably what they do in a private life that's probably yeah, what they yeah, do yeah. In a private no, life. but uh yeah but I mean, that's a that's a really uh what the points that you were making that's very that's a like good detail or like attention to detail because i i mean I, I hadn't really like thought of it that way it's very true um i probably do some of that at work <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you know but um yeah it's a it's a very good point um i never thought of how the you know especially business owners, company owners are looking for, uh, you know, people to basically cut work out. Cause that's really how companies are going to save on costs is you giving them ideas on how to cut the workload out. Um, you know, you see companies inventing robots to take care of, you know, the workload or computers. Um, yeah, it's very, very true. All of that. Because if you, if you think about it, a robot can go 24 hours without 15 minute breaks, without lunch breaks, without, you know, eight hours taken off and you don't have to pay them overtime. One thing you got to do is pay for electricity. That's way less than you paying a person. But I mean, I'm just, you know, like my, like, I mean, even my kids, you know, when I'd be like, Hey, do this. 
You know, they find a sneaky, tricky way to get it done way faster than, you know, I'm expecting. You know, I'm thinking like, oh, this is going to take him about two hours. He didn't found some friends down the street and just be like, all right, we're going to hurry up and get this done. Ten minutes is over or something like that. They will always find processes that make it easier for them to do less work because that's what, you know, that's what lazy people do. But again, for the working class people that just say, I'm a hard worker, I'm a hard worker, that is great. But you have to start. I'm not telling you to change your mindset of not being a hard worker. Those people will be acceptable in a lot of organizations until you get that lazy worker in there to find out to make your job obsolete. Because like I was saying in that previous scenario at the organization I was at is a lot of people, a lot of people that lost their job, they were extremely hard workers. But the thing is, it costs more money to have them working hard than it was to create an automated process that would get this get the job done and can do the job for a longer time and cause ten percent of the cost of the working labor that was there. So, so be cognizant. Always have your mind. And I'm not saying, oh, go to work tomorrow and start finding ways to get people fired. I'm just letting people know that's the way the business landscape is going. Just like we talked last night in the class. Uh, what stocks will be uh, profitable heading out of a recession? You know, I put up there innovative, innovative stocks because that's what they do. And a point to that, you know, you got me thinking because there was a time where um, there was a department at the company that I work at where they were constantly, you know, taking calls saying, no, you need to contact the manager. And those employees just kept pushing off the phone calls to the management department. So the point where it got to the president and he was saying, you know, if the managers are doing all the work, why do I need this whole department? You know, so really employees can cut themselves out of a job if they are lazy. You know, I mean, uh, and it's the best employee, you know, for the company, you know, saving the company, giving the company an idea how to cut their costs. But for the employee itself, they can get cut out of work. Right. And what I mean by lazy, I mean, has the lazy mindset, not go to work and be like, hey, we need this done. Oh, man, no, I don't want to do that. That's not, I mean, they they will work hard, but they have a lazy mindset. So they're always trying to find shortcuts on getting stuff done. Of they're course. Try, and that's, that's what yeah. I mean. You got to have no, of the course. people to have that lazy mindset. Yeah. In this scenario, I'm just saying, you know, if the basically these employees showed the company or showed the president that the management department was able to just run the, you know, run the show by themselves. So kind of opened up a question as to, you know, do we actually need that department? So. And that's, and that's, and that's the story, um, how it goes. And especially moving, transitioning out of this, uh, this arena that it was with COVID and, you know, it was a lot of work from home and things like that. And then now it's more, you know, moving back into the office space it's going to be more prevalent, you know, what areas the companies need. And then if we go into this recession, like all the experts uh, say we're going, that's the first thing that the when you get, get into those big meetings and board meetings, they're looking at what is not what is not a necessity. What is something that that let's say X department doing that we could just add to Y department and get rid of uh, X department altogether? And then we might have to pay Y department a little bit more, but we don't have to pay them double, you know, of having this extra workload of people. And then, like I said, automation and processes, especially in the office spaces is, is paramount. You know, companies like Snowflake and things like that are, um, are moving in, you know, box, you know, cloud storage and stuff like that. They're moving in and making, you know, people, physical people on a mass number almost obsolete so you just have to you know work the numbers and figure out that's how it goes exactly with all that being said guys don't forget to like and subscribe uh leave a comment down below what your thoughts are if you're a lazy employee like me and uh, we'll, we'll see you guys in the next video